Hello everyone, happy to see you here and welcome back to my math channel. Today we have a really interesting exponential equation, 81 to the x equal to x to the power 18. And what about x? A lot of students try to solve it by inspection, they try to look a little bit to this and try to solve it by inspection, but, but it's really hard. And in this video I'm going to show you three best approaches how can we solve it. Everyone is different from each other and it's really great. And I hope you will enjoy these approaches until the end of the video, okay? Let's try to solve it in the first way. Okay, we have right here the power, we have exponent on the left, on the right hand side. So I want to show you a really interesting rule, power rule. So if you have a to the power b raised to the power, for example, c, we can write it as a to the power b times c. Yeah, so we all know this rule. This is maybe the main common rule and the main general rule in mass. Or as a, as a result, we can write it as a to the power c raised to the power b, because this is a product. Yeah, so we can easily swap this in both ways. And as a result, this is the rule called the rule of interchange. So we can swap this one and this one. Yeah, so we know this, we know this rule. And why I write this? Because right here, 81 to the x, I write on the left hand side, 81 to the x, I want to raise this to the power 1 over x, yeah? So I want to raise this left hand side to the power 1 over x. And we need nothing changed, so as a result we need to raise as well our right hand side. So x to the power 18 raised to the power 1 over x, yeah? So we just raise both sides to the power 1 over x. And as a result, as we can see right here, x times 1 over x, because we have this case, we have like 81 to the power x times 1 over x, yeah? equal to equal to x but right here let's apply not this rule second but this search rule rule of interchange so we can swap bc cb right here and as a result we can swap these powers so we will have like x to the power 1 of x and all raised to the power 18. maybe this is the main difficult step for you but i hope you understand it right here we apply this second rule we multiply it and in the third case we apply the rule of interchange so i hope you understand this step and right now, take a look closely. Right here, if you multiply it, x times 1 over x equal to 1. So as a result, we'll have like 81. On the right-hand side, we will have like x to the power 1 over x, so we still have the same, yeah? To the power 18. Okay, what are we going to do next? I'm going to show you a really interesting second trick right here, because this is not like we cannot solve it by inspection as well, but if we raise both sides to the power 1 over 18, so let's raise both sides to the power 1 over 18, and take a look really interesting magic right here, 81 to the power 1 over 18 equal to x to the power 1 over x to the power 18 and raise all to the power 1 over 18 because we need to raise both sides. Okay, as a result right here we still have this constant, 81 to the power 1 over 18, yeah? And as a result, on the right hand side, take a look closely, 18 times 1 over 18, because we read this, this is our second case, 18 times 1 over 18 equal to 1, so we'll have like x to the power 1 over, over x, okay, we have this, this expression. And right now, it looks like we can solve it by inspection, but this is, for most students, it's difficult. And then I write this 81 as 9 square, so 9 square to the power 1 over 18 equal to x to the power 1 of x, yeah, 1 of x. And take a look closely, really interesting magic, magic moment right here, because square and 1 over 18, we multiply it. So as a result, 2 times 1 over 18 equal to 1 over 9. And take a look closely, 9 to the power 1 over 9 equal to x to the power 1 over x. Really interesting magic moment right here, because we have like 9x right here, we have 1, we have 1 right here, and we have 9, and it looks like x equal to 9. This is our this is our answer. This is the first way, and I hope you understand this. For those who want to practice power rules, exponent rules, law, law of powers right here, this is really brilliant expression, really interesting problem. But I have two more, two more, two more approaches, and this will be really interesting and really great, okay? This is first using power rules, and I hope you enjoy it. But second one, using logarithm, and I hope you, you know a little bit about natural log, yeah? Because we have like 81, to the power x equal to x to the power 18. So we have this expression. And right now, so right here we go with natural log. This is log of properties. And let's go. We have like natural log, natural log of 81 to the x 
equal to natural log of x to the power 18. Yeah, we have this, this expression and a lot of students need to know that right here goes this power, this exponent goes right here as a product. So we will have like x times natural log 81 equal to 18 times natural log x. Yeah, so let's go step by step and try to simplify this. And right now take a look closely. If we divide both sides by x, so as a result this goes right here, so natural log x over x, and in the same way let's divide both sides by 18. And as a result from here we cancel this, and as a result natural log 81 over 18. I swap a little bit side, but doesn't matter. This goes from right hand side to left hand side, this goes from left hand side to right hand side, and everything is good. And right now, take a look closely. Let's go to see, let's try to simplify this expression with natural log. How can we rewrite this? Take a look closely. We can write this as natural log 9 square, yeah? And over, over, let's write this 18 as 2 times 9. And take a look closely, this 2 goes right here, so the same rule as, as, as in the beginning, so 2 times natural log 9 over 2 times 9, yeah? Cancel this one and magic, really interesting moment, because we will have like this expression, natural log x over x equal to natural log 9 over 9, because we can fill these two and take a look, natural log, natural log, x and 9, x in denominator, right here 9 in denominator and of one and only case that x equal to 9, yeah? There is a second method and I hope you, you will enjoy it, but we have like the third method, really interesting method, maybe the, the most difficult one because we use Lambert W function, but I hope you will enjoy it and for those who want to practice like a really huge math theory, mass, mass, notes right here. This is really great power rule, exponent rule. This is like natural log and let's go with Lambert W function, okay? So I want to continue with this expression. So natural log x, natural log x over x equal to natural log 81 over, over 18. So I wanted to continue with this expression. So I don't want to go with this step once more. I want to continue with this with this expression, yeah? And right now we need to remember or we need to learn a uh, about Lambert W function. So Lambert W function of this expression x times e to the x equal to x. So as a result, if we have e, if we have the same expression right here and right here, Lambert W function of this expression equal to x. So this is used in simpler words. And right now, take a look closely what I'm going to do. I want to write these, these x as e to the power natural log x. So as a result, natural log x, so the same, but x I want to write as e to the power natural log x, yeah? Equal to the same, so this is a constant, so this is the same natural log 81 over, over 18, yeah? So this is the same. And right now, take a look closely. Let's bring this e to our numerator, because if we're talking about Lambert W function, we don't have denominator, so let's bring this to our numerator. So as a result, you will have like e to the power minus natural log x times natural log x equal to natural log 81 over over 18, yeah? And right now, if you look to our Lambert W function and to this expression, we have like the same element. We have e, which is maybe the key element in Lambert W function. We have looks like the same elements right here and in the power, but in one really interesting moment, we have minus natural log x. And right here we have natural log x. So let's multiply both sides by minus one and we create this minus right here. Okay, we will have like minus natural log x in parentheses times e to the power minus natural log x equal to minus natural log 81 over 18. Yeah, so we just multiplied both sides by by this minus. And right now let's apply Lambert W function. I wonder, I don't want to write this expression once more. This is Lambert W function from the left, this is Lambert W function from the right. As a result, if you look at this expression, we have like the same, this is our x, and this is our x. This is the same if you're talking about the rule, the rule of Lambert W function. So if we apply it, we will have only our x, but x in our case equal to minus natural log x. So minus natural log x, yeah, we have this expression equal to Lambert W function of this expression. So minus natural log 81 over 18. Yeah, we have this expression. And right now let's let's find exactly the value of this x because I don't want you to use your internet libraries, your calculator. Let's try to solve it in every step. We solve it. So let's try to solve it in this way as well. 
So we have minus natural log 81 over 18. We simplified this before. So we write this as, so this expression we write as in this way, minus 2 times natural log 9. Yeah, we have, we had this before. 2 times natural log 9 and right here 2 times 9. As a result, as a result, we can write it as Lambert W function of this expression. So minus natural log 9. And I want, I, I want to write this 9 because we cancel this too. I want to write this 9 as e to the power natural log, natural log 9. Yeah. And as a result, if we bring this expression to our numerator, we will have like this one. We will have like Lambert W function of minus natural log 9 because we bring these from this one to our numerator. So we will have like times e to the power minus natural log 9. Yeah. And take a look. This is Lambert W function because we have like the same expression. We have the same expression. So this is equal to minus natural log 9. But let's go a little bit back right here. We have minus natural log x equal to this expression. So our final equation looks like that. Minus natural log x equal to minus natural log 9. And from here x equal to x equal to 9. Yeah. Maybe this is the most complicated uh, example right here because I go with Lambert W function. Maybe this is the, the easier one. Maybe this is the easier one, yeah, because this is like natural log a few steps. This is maybe in the second place and this is maybe the most difficult is. So I hope you I hope you enjoyed this this video. This is really great. Write your suggestion about these approaches, which one you like the most, which one you don't like. Maybe you have a little notes to this one. And thank you for your support, for your likes. I really appreciate it, for your subscribes and to support my channel. Thank you and have a great day.